So have you ever wondered how to put these stainless steel strips on? I've played with these. I didn't really see too many videos out there, so I I've messed up a set already. Um, but I've learned from it now. Um, so I kind of wanted to share with you guys a little bit. Um, this is a 66 Mustang and uh, on a set number two. Uh, so there's a trick to it. Um, me, I love to get a lot of paint and clear coat on this. That's my number one problem. I should have taped these off after I, I painted it and cleared it. Um, just one just light coat there, then taped them off, got them out of the way. Or, or just however you guys want to do it. But that's my number one failure because the thickness of this rail here um, doesn't quite fit in the channel hair I learned. Start stretching them out and deforming them. Um, so if you take some calipers, you can go crossed and, and measure. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down to the primer just on the edges here and allow it to have enough space to allow this to go over the edge. And it'll make your life a lot easier because I just learned it on the other side. So I figured I'd share this because I don't know what I'm doing with some of this stuff, but this is one thing that I think will help. Um, you definitely don't want to take it down to bare metal, but it'd be best to take it, you know, if when you put your base coat on, maybe just take this off and leave the base coat or one light coat of clear, um, but it's hard to do that when you're, when you're in the middle spraying. So, um, yeah, let me kind of show you what I did. And you want to be very careful if you did with a razor blade. Um, I checked my thicknesses and I checked the thickness of the material. It's like a half inch. Um, well, I can't remember exactly, but it's close. And I, I'm just going to lightly take this razor blade and remove the paint. I'm just taking the paint, the clear and a little bit of the paint and I'm just going to take it just a slight little sliver and this will allow I mean there's our slight sliver of paint pretty pretty crazy and I'm I'm not getting down to any bare metal um, I'm just very gently taking off the clear coat I don't I don't and part of the base coat but as long as the primers on there I feel like we're good because it's it's gonna be wrapped around here so um, but I kind of have no choice at this moment so I'm just gonna lightly shave because I seriously have five maybe six coats of clear coat on this car and this edge got the majority of the clear <laughs> is the sad thing because I'm cutting my edges first And you guys might think I'm crazy, but, um, and there's probably a better way, but I, I figured this is the best way for me at this moment. And I didn't see much out there. So if there's a video you guys have out there, you want to link to this, send me an email and I'd be happy to link. Um, but I don't think this is hurting anything, to be honest. I mean, look at all that. Just a slight little sliver off of there. And that's, that's thick. <laughs> but like you're not, you're really not going to see this. Um, but I'll kind of show you. This is just how I did the other side. I'm going to open the door up. And I'm going to take this top of the channel and I'm going to find what best spot is to start out in. I'm actually going to start in this corner because I've learned this corner is kind of the, the hardest point of it. And if I can just get it to hook, I'll just rest it on the top here. And
a little finesse to pop it in, but I try not to use a hammer because it'll kind of dent it. I'm just going to continue working it around. All right, so right here you can kind of see it's not quite shaped the same. Um, I got the back all snapped in and I still got to continue putting the front in but I got to make sure I get it in that channel first before I start bending it around. And it's all snapped in. I even removed a little bit of the, the paint as I was moving it around so it would have done damage to the paint anyways. And then this is a good time where I start removing this this coating off the the chrome. Well, it's stainless, not chrome, but But you get the gist. Let me finish cleaning this stuff up. But yeah, hopefully this video helps you. Um, it's just figured you guys might like some assistance on how to install these. And uh, it turned out really nice. Just a little elbow grease and some polish and they snap right in there. So guys, hit subscribe. Check out more of my videos and thank you for watching.